We're going to, just so you have a, a sense of what it's like to be in a, a foreign land and preach when you don't speak the language. So you have an anointed interpreter who interprets in the, cur in the, in the local language. So we're going to do that for just a moment so you can see. Gabriel has 99% of the time been the interpreter when I've been in South Africa, and I, I come in under his anointing, all right? So it, you must have an anointed interpreter. Mm -hmm. You can come and be the most anointed preacher in the world, but it means absolutely nothing if the interpreter is not anointed. And this is the most anointed interpreter I know as the head of a ministry. So we're going to go... You will just see, you will be the people that are, have been, you're in the crusade or wherever in the world we are, and I'm going to be your preacher today, or anybody else that could be. So, and it shall be in the last days, God says, <laughs> that I will pour forth of my spirit upon all mankind. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my bond slaves, both men and women. I will in those days pour my spirit. And I will grant wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness. And the moon into blood. Before the great and glorious day of the Lord shall come. And it shall be in that day. That everyone. Everyone. Who calls on the name of the Lord. Shall be saved. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm back home. <laughs> Greetings from South Africa this morning. I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus. First of all, I want to greet uh, Mama Dawn, my mama, and uh, the leadership of this church. Um, and everybody who is here this morning, uh, I greet you in the name of Jesus. It is, it, is, it is so good again to come and see you again. I know that I was here last year. You received me and you welcomed me. And again, I'm here and you welcome me. Thank you so much. I want to, I want to pass my greetings from my dad. Uh, he know that today I'm standing here and he told me to hug each and every one of you. <laughs> so I'm hugging you all for him. <laughs> and uh, my wife, Margaret, and uh, my children, they say hello. I've got four boys, tall boys, big boys, uh, 24, 23, 16, and, te and 10. But uh, they're greeting you also. And I want to especially to greet my friends who are here, Angie, and, uh, and his father-in-law, and her father-in-law here this morning. Thank you for coming, it's good to see you. And I want to greet my friend Mike uh, back there, it's good to see him also. Um, praise the Lord. Um, before I go to the word, I just want to say two things. Number one is to thank you. Um, thank you so much. I was here last year to raise funds to buy the sound equipment. And because of your contribution, um, we were able to buy a big and good sound equipment. We can go to any stadium, yes. We can now go to any stadium, any hall, any tent, and, and just set up our equipment and just call the name of Jesus. And people, young people and old, will just come running and accept Jesus Christ, and thank you for partnering with us. Um, and also, we, we want to partner with you, as I said in the, in the, in the, in the video. It is very special to us. Um, I know that we always come and you always help us financially and, and loving us, but we want, to, we want to do something for you too. We don't have finances. We don't have anything that we can offer, but we can pray. <laughs> that we know, we can pray for you. 
we, we want to do that for you. We want, to, we want to pray for this church. We want to pray for, for the family. We want to pray for the country. We want to, we want to pray for, for, for whatever need that we can do. And we want to, if you can allow us, we want to partner with you. And uh, as I said, we can reach us in, 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 in our website, and, and I know I've got your website, and let us communicate and send us your, your needs, and, and, and we can pray for that. Small or big, we can pray for that. Uh, so thank you for partnering with us. Amen. Amen. We love you. How many this morning love the word of God? I am what I am today because of the word of God. In fact, my life was a mess. <laughs> um, Mama Dawn came to South Africa. He was a God, she was a God sent. Uh, I was struggling. Um, and I, 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 I didn't know how to, to come out, how to, where, where to go. But she came uh, in that year. I will never forget as long as I live. And she found me. <laughs> God used her to found me, and uh, since then I changed. I'm a child of God, born again, washed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us go to the word of God. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30. Do I say that right? Yes. Okay. Sometimes our accent is kind of difficult, so you, you bear with me if I don't say <laughs> words in, in the right way. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 14. There is a message that the Lord has put in my heart this morning. I've been praying and praying and praying. Thank God for the gazebo at Mama Dawn's. <laughs> I, uh, I spent a wonderful time. I, I know... Pity because the time was so short this time, but um, Mama Dawn promised me that next year when I come, I'll stay there longer. That's where I spend time with my Jesus and my Lord. Beginning from verse 14, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 14, I'll read it. But the Lord, but the word is very near you. In your mouth and in your heart that you may do it. See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil. In that I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, his statutes, and his judgments, that you may live and, and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you go to possess. But if your heart turns away so that you do not hear and are drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I announce to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to go in and possess it. I call heaven and earth as witness today against you uh, that have said before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. I want to say that again. Therefore, choose life that both of you and your descendants may live, that you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, and that you may cling to him, for he is your life. Choose life because he is your life. And the length of your days, and that you may dwell in the land which the Lord saw to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give them to you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. This is your word, and your word is alive. Your word is true. Speak to us, O oh Lord, this morning through this word and change our lives. Thank you, Father, for speaking to us this morning. We are listening in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, 
I want to speak about making choices. And many a times in our lives we, we make choices, but at the end of the day, the choices that we made are killing us. Sometimes the choices that we made, they destroy us. A life is a result of choices we make. A life is a, is a result of choices we make. Whether we have good life or we, had, we have bad life, but it is a result of choices we all make. And this morning, God, God willing, I want to speak about making the right choices. Every circumstance is a result of our choices. Sometimes the choices we made long time ago, today they come and haunt us. It is very important to make good choices. It is very important to make right choices. And when I, when I, when I speak about choices, choices, you need, every time when, you, when you're about to make choice, you choose, pause, and pray about it. Okay? Just pause and pray about it. Don't even think about it. Because you can think about choice, you can think about choices, and you can end up making bad choices. So every choice that you make, just pause, just stop, just hang on a little bit, and just pray about every choice that you want to make. Either life or death. Either good or bad. It's amazing because I, I've, I've come to understand that even Christians, they make bad choices sometimes. Yeah. And it, it is hard to think about that. That even Christians, they make not a good choices sometimes. But thank God that he is there with us. We are not alone. As Christians, we are not alone. As, as the children of God, we are not alone. He is there with us, but he cannot change our minds. All right? If I choose to make bad choices, he, he won't pursue me to make right choices if I, do, if I don't consult. He only focuses on me if I only consult on him. I say, is this the right choice for my family? Is this the right choice for my church? Is this the right choice for my children? Every life is a result of our choices. Every family life is the is, 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 is a family because you do and you make good choices. Okay? I want to speak about the choices that we have. We can write them down if you want to. The, the choices that we have today, today. Now, and these, 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 these things that I'm going to talk about are the things that are close to you. They are, they are there with you. So some of us, we live by these things. We live with these things. In our, they control us, these things I'm going to talk about. They control us. We don't, we don't have rest because of the, the very same choices we made, the things that we, we, we choose to, to accept and, and choose to live by. But this morning, it's either you choose to live by them or you choose to change. What are those choices? Let's talk about them. You choose to being bitter or being better. Some people, they choose to be bitter instead of being better. You can be better. You can be bitter, but if you, you choose to be better, you can leave bitterness and go to a better place. Amen. It's your choice. 
There are people who are nursing to be bitter. They've been bitter since they were young. Somebody did something wrong to them and they, they never changed. But praise God that he is there with us. He is causing us to, instead of being bitter, we can choose to be better. And boy, we can be better every day. Every day. When I wake up, I choose to be better, God. When I go to bed, I choose to be better. When I go to my office, I choose to be better. When I'm driving down the road, I choose to be better. That's my choice. Instead of being bitter. What else? Those are the things that are not far from us. They're right here with us. And the devil plays around those things. But it's, 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 we need to choose. They're not far from us. Teach our children to choose to be better instead of being bitter. That's our, that's our job as parents. Okay. What else? You can choose to be lukewarm or be enthusiasm. There are people who just, you don't know whether they're cold or they're hot. They're happy, they're mad, they're, they're crying. <laughs> Or they're laughing. You don't know what, what, what they're, 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 they're just lukewarm. Even in the church, some, some people will be praising the Lord and lifting their hands. They will be just lukewarm every Sunday. But God is looking for the people who are full of energy, who are enthusiasm, who are alive. And you can choose. You can choose to be. To be, to be isolated and just be alone and be lukewarm and, and be cold. And, and, but God is looking for the people who are enthusiasm for him. Choose life. What else? I like this one. You can choose to give up or to get up. I like that. There are people who are giving up just easily. If you don't talk to him, he, give up, he, just, he, just, he just gave up talking to you anymore. If you don't greet him, he just gave up in greeting you again. You just give up, give up easily. But you can choose. Instead of giving up, you can choose to get up. It doesn't matter what happens in your life, but I'm going to get up. It doesn't matter whether they hate me or love me, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. Every, every day I want to get, I don't want to end there. I want to be right there all the time. You choose. And these things, they are right beside you. They are, they are there. Maybe, maybe some of us, you've never experienced this, but praise God that God has sent me this morning to encourage you. Whenever you come across these things, you'll know that I need to choose. Maybe we've never, we've never met these things. You, they, they've never happened to your life, but they are coming one day. But when they come, you need to know that, okay, I need to choose to get up. I'm not going to end here. I need to get up instead of giving up. Okay? Don't give up easily. People will talk bad about you. Don't give up. You won't find a position in this church. <laughs> don't give up. Because people, they want positions sometimes. I don't know here, but in Africa they do. <laughs> <laughs> when they don't get positions, they, they leave the church, they give up. I'm give up. I'm, I'm. No, don't give up. Just get up. Okay? What else? I like this one too. You can rather choose to coping with, the, with evil or overcoming evil. You can choose to cope with, to walk along with evil or you can choose 
to overcome evil. Folks, we are called to overcome evil. That's what we are called to do. We are not called to nest evil. We are not called to, to cope with, with what is happening around the world. We are called to overcome the world. Amen. Hallelujah. We are called to overcome. We are overcomers. It doesn't matter what is happening in the world. We are overcomers. We are not, we are not called to cope and to go along with what is happening. No, 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 no. We are called to overcome and be on top. We are called to be the heads, not the tails. And we can choose to be that. You can choose to cope with evil. But I'm not called to cope with evil. I am called to overcome evil. Because God is with me and his word is with me. Hallelujah. You can choose. <laughs> Listen to this one. You can choose to blend, blend in, or you can choose to stand out. See, you know how to blend, to blend in. Do you understand that, right? Just to, 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 to blend, to, you know, they, they don't know you, whether you're saved or not saved, or, or you just like, you want to just be like them, you know, just, you know. Yeah, just, just be there. <laughs> they don't know whether you are a child of God, you are you're saved. They don't know. You want, you just want to blend. You, you just keep. You want to keep that status. No, we are not called to blend. It's your choice, though. We are called to stand out. They need to know right away who I am. I am a child of God. There are things that I'm not doing. They are things, my language is straight. Okay? I, I, they, they, they need to know right away. When, when I go to a place where they don't know me, I, right away I, I found the opportunity for these people to know who I am. I don't go far with them unless they know who I am. Very soon I just introduce myself. Hey, I'm Gabriel. Um, I'm a pastor and I'm, I'm a child of God. I, I, just, I just wanted to know you. Just want you to know that I, I'm a child of God. I don't, I don't want to blend and, and, be, and be the same. No. But I want to stand out for the Lord. Because that's what he expects from me. God is looking for the people, even in these last days, who will not just be satisfied with where they are. People who will stand out for the Lord. He trusts us. He loves us. He has given us his word. He has given us everything. And he expects us to stand out for him. Not to blend. Not to be afraid. Not to fear what people are going to say. But fear him. I need to be stand out for him. People need to know that God saved me one day. Everywhere I go, people know that I am saved. I'm a child of God. Because I chose to stand out. I don't want to be, to, to, to be bl to just to blend, just to be, to, be a, to, to be a part. No. I can work with the people, but they, know, they need to know who I am. Hallelujah. Stand out. Stand out. I love this one. You can choose destruction or developing. It's, it's up to you. You can choose destruction or you can choose to be developed. You can choose resisting or receiving. That's powerful there. Resisting or receiving. You can choose. There are people who does not want to receive. They resist all the time. 
They push all the time. When God is speaking to them, they push. When the word is speaking to them, they push. But blessed are the people who receive all the time. I remember when I was young, I liked to listen to people preaching. And every time we'll go with, with my brothers and my sisters, we'll go and, and listen to the preachers, different preachers. And every time when we come back, my dad will ask us, will ask, he will say to us, how was, how was the church? How was, how was the preacher? And my brothers and sisters will say, oh, he was boring. Oh, we, could, we, couldn't, we couldn't understand what he was saying. And I would say, you know, dad, he was good. I, I don't know what they're talking about. I, I, I don't know whether we were in the same service, but he was good. Because I chose to, whether, whether, whether he was boring, I didn't see him boring. I was listening what I, I'm going to receive. I was listening what is going to build me. And I would say to my dad, he was every time. And my dad one day said, you are so different. Always everything is good to you. I, all the messages are good to you. I said, I receive them. Because they, I, 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 I find something that will, that, will, that will build me up. And I'm sure that's why I'm standing here today, because I was able to receive. And God blessed me. Resist or receive. It is powerful. Especially when it comes to things of the Lord. The only thing that we need to resist is, 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 is the enemy, is the devil. That's, that's what we need to resist. But the things of the Lord, the things of God, we need to receive them. Hallelujah. Are you, are you, are you, are you here? Okay. See, I, I'm an evangelist. You know, if, if, I don't, if, if I don't hear amen, I think you don't understand and I, I can speak until 5 o'clock. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that because the Vikings are playing. I don't know when, but I, you know. I, I <laughs> <laughs> receive or resist. Choose to receive today. Especially the things of the Lord. Especially the voice of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes pray about this. And, and when we are alone at home, at work, just pray, God, what can I receive from you? What do you want to give me today? Only today, I want to receive from you. Sometimes we don't pray enough in receiving from the Lord. I want to receive from you. Sometimes I pause and, and leave what I'm doing and just pray, God, today or this week, what do you want me to receive from you? Show me. Receive from the Lord. Oh, this is powerful. You choose, can choose to complain, complaining, or obtaining. People who are complaining, they don't obtain because they complain. Okay? Don't complain. Obtain. You can choose strife or peace. Powerful. There are people who just want strife all the time. All the time. They want confusion. They want, they want strife. They want to fight. They want to argue. They want, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Because they chose to do that. But you can choose. In the midst, in the midst of all that, you can choose peace. In the midst of confusion, in the midst of things are not going well, in the midst of your family is so confusing, in the midst of everything that is not going well, you can choose the side of peace. You can choose peace. Because my God is a peace God. He gives peace. In the midst of trouble, he comes and gives you peace. And people will ask you, how do you cope? We see things are not going well, but you laugh, you smile, you are all over the place. You chose to have peace in the midst of everything. Don't go along with strife or, or, or anything, but choose peace. 
choose peace. I'm about to close. I need to pray for some people. The other one, you can choose discouragement or determination. Hmm. Discouragement or determination. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. When you are encouraged, you are so determined. When you are encouraged. Don't be discouraged. Discouragement or determination. The other thing you can choose, dying or growing. I love that one. Dying or growing. It is good. Brothers and sisters, it is good to grow. Boy, it is good to grow. It is bad to die. And we have people who, unfortunately, who choose to die every day. They are the same. Last year you were here. Next year you will be here. The other day you will be here. But God is looking for the people who will grow. Grow in his word. Grow in the things of the Lord. Grow in knowing him. Know him better every day. Grow. Grow in, in fellowshipping with other, other Christians. Grow. God is looking for us to grow. You can choose to die or you can choose to grow. Hallelujah. Amen. Grow. Are you growing enough? Are you growing enough? Are you growing enough? Are you sure you're growing enough? You can choose to grow. You cannot grow if you don't spend most of your time in the word of God. You cannot grow if you don't spend most of your time on your knees. Oh my goodness. You cannot grow if you don't spend your time with the fellowship of, of, of Christ, with other fellow believers. You cannot grow. You cannot grow if you're just there. But you grow if you deepen yourself in the word of God. Oh, you can grow if you deepen your, yourself in prayer. Make prayer your lifestyle. Make the devil, the enemy, know that your prayer, that, that prayer is your thing. Nothing can separate you with Christ. Nothing can separate you with the word of God. Make that your lifestyle. When you wake up, you know, you know what to do. There are people who wake up and dress up and go without praying, without spending the time in the word of God. When they come to work, they are tired, they wash, they cook, they eat, they go to bed. There are people who does, who does not just have time for the word of God. But you cannot grow if you do that. You grow if you spend your time, I'm closing, in the word of God. Hallelujah. Mm. I like this one. You can choose in doing for yourself or you can choose to doing for others. Oh, this is good. You can choose to doing for yourself or you can choose to do for others. There are people who are just want to do for themselves. For themselves, for themselves, for me, for me, for me, for me, for me, for me, but not others. But you can choose to do for yourself, but most of the time, choose to do for others. Know what your fellow brothers are doing. Some, they come to church, maybe they don't have food to eat like you. Some, they come to church, maybe they, ha they don't have clothes, clothing like you. Find out what can you do. Found the opportunities. Seek the opportunities. What can you do for other people? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm closing with this one. 
You can choose to get more everything or you can choose to get more of God. You can have everything. You can have money. You can have cars. <laughs> you can have a good job. You can choose to do that. that. Those are good things. We're supposed to have those. Or you can choose having all these to have God. To have God. Having the house, having the cars, having everything, it's good. But let these things not be more <laughs> than God. What is your choice today? Choose more of God. I was an alcoholic. My life was dying every day. Sometimes I will drink, even, I, even if I don't, know, I don't want to drink, until I came to a point to say, drinking is my life. And I know that it was the lie from the devil. Because of that, I choose to drink. Because I thought drinking was my life. But praise the Lord. Praise God. His blood is able to wash even an alcoholic. Mama Dawn came to South Africa. She found me. She spoke to me the truth of, of God. She prayed for me. She embraced me. And she left. When she left, I searched my life and I sat down and I said, I said, God, I choose not to drink anymore. I choose not to drink anymore. I choose to take you as my Lord and Savior. If you are able to cleanse me, if you are able to save me, if you are able to embrace me, I choose today not to drink anymore, not to smoke anymore, but I choose to be your child. Oh, what a wonderful God we have. What a miracle God we have. Boy, he washed me. He cleansed me. I am what I am today because I chose to follow him. Let us close our eyes. And pray. <laughs> I don't know what we are struggling with. God sent me from South Africa to come and encourage you. I just came to encourage you because I don't know what is your struggle. But God knows what you're struggling about. He knows the choices you made. And he knows the choices that you're making. And this morning, it is your time to say, God, help me to make the right choices. And I want to pray with you. If you're praying that prayer, say, Father, help me today to be able to make the right choices. If you are here this morning, you are praying that prayer. Just stand wherever you are. I just want to pray with you. Father, help me. Just help me to make the right choices. If you are here saying that, stand up. I want to pray with you. Because God is here. He's here. He loves you. <laughs> he loves you. He's not far from you. And the choices that you are going to make are not far from you. The good, I'm talking about the good choices. I'm talking about the right choices. They are not too far from you. They are right here. And we are going to invite 
the almighty God to help you make the right choices. Some of the choices that you made are not good. But God is good. God is good. Some of the choices, they almost destroy you. But God is good. God is here. Let us close our eyes and lift our hands as I pray. Jesus. Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this time that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for this day that you've given us. These are your children, Father God. They love you, and you love them. Father, they lift up their hands to you as an exchange to you to say, take God. Take and give us which is yours. Father, I pray and I thank you that as they lift their hands, there is an exchange that is happening. You are taking their weaknesses. You are taking the wrong decisions they make and they're going to make. You are giving them the right choices. Father, I thank you for giving them those choices, the choices that are from you, the choices that are from you. And I thank you, Father. Bless each and every one here and give each and every one the desire of their hearts. Father God, fulfill the desires of their hearts. Fulfill it, Father. Father, I pray for each and every one standing here that, Father, you will answer each and every prayer that they have. Some are standing here, Father, they are crying out to you for help. And Father, I pray that whatever tear, whatever cry, Father, answer it. Because you are a good God. Father, I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory for what you are doing even right here. Father, in the name of Jesus, walk with them. Talk to them. Strengthen them. Father, fill them with your power and of your Holy Spirit. I pray for each and every one, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for what you are going to do in their life, in Jesus' name. Amen.